This project aims to fabricate a microfluidic device with a thermoplastic material. The team will design and validate a manufacturing methodology for a laboratory setting. This video specifically aims to prove that the system is ready for testing, and if not, then justifies why it is not ready for testing. There are three tests that will be conducted on our system. The first test is a parameter test. This test will validate if the dimensions, tolerance, and surface roughness are acceptable. This test will be conducted using a profilometer. The second test is a performance test and will validate that the microfluidic device will function properly. During this test, the flow will be analyzed under a microscope. The last test is an additional bend test. This test will show the rigidity of the device and the strength of the bonding. The system state required to reach the testing stage would include a successful run of any manufacturing process that would produce a microfluidic device. There were three planned manufacturing processes to be prototyped, namely injection molding, laser cutting, and CNC machining. The injection molding process was much more elaborate than the team initially thought or planned for. Each trial takes a couple of hours and elaborate cleaning is required after each trial. There were many complications with the process itself as well. First, the optimal pressure and temperature settings needed to be determined through trial and error. It took the team five trials to determine the optimal setting for the mold and cylinder temperatures. These trials were conducted without the mold insert, which is made from a silicon wafer. The next step was to determine the pressure. During one of the trials, the mold got stuck in the machine. The company has been contacted and the team is waiting on the repair in order to continue with the injection molding process. Therefore, we do not have an injection molding prototype that is ready for testing at this specific time. Two prototypes, however, have been manufacturing using laser cutting. The first prototype was manufactured using acrylic PMMA sheets. The design was constructed in SOLIDWORKS and imported to Corel Draw. The pattern was then engraved into the acrylic sheet. The second acrylic sheet was then cut to size and thermally bonded to seal the device. This prototype is ready for parameter, performance, and bend testing. The second prototype was inspired by an innovative idea from Arslan Javid. The design was cut out from a thin film and sandwiched between two acrylic sheets. The team is still researching the best method to bond the layers in order to seal the device. At this point in time, the prototype is ready for parameter testing, but not for performance or bend testing. In order to manufacture a prototype using CNC machining, very precise tools are required. Two micro end mills have been purchased to do the job. Unfortunately, these tools cannot be used at the Bergeron machine shop because they require a special connection called a spindle speedster. This connection is required to speed up the micro end mills to a very high RPM. The Petri machine shop, however, has the required connection. This connection is not compatible with the CNC machines at the Bergeron machine shop, however. The Petri machine shop is not accessible to students, and the technicians at Petri charge roughly $60 an hour. This issue has been discussed with Professor Newland, and he is trying to arrange a trial at the Petri machine shop. This will only be possible if Adam, the machine shop technician, is willing to supervise the trial and Petri administration agree to allow us to use the CNC machine under Adam's supervision. If and when all these conditions are met, then only will the team be able to manufacture a prototype using CNC machining. Therefore, this process is not ready for testing. It is unknown by what date this might be achievable. In conclusion, the prototypes for injection molding and CNC machining are not ready for testing, and a justification has been provided. The prototype for laser engraving is ready for all three tests, and the prototype for thin film laser cutting is ready for one of the tests. Thanks for watching.